Hey, hey, everybody. I know today's thumbnail wasn't as exciting as the last two cosplays that I did. If you haven't seen them, definitely go check out my previous videos. Uh, but I know today's content is very special, so let's get right into it. Uh, so Jagex today spoiled a Weapons Master Relic. This is going to affect your special attack. Uh, so I'm going to give you a quick overview about that relic and how it works. Uh, we don't have all the details yet, but I'll cover what the information that we do have. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about how this is going to be valuable to defense reductions and how you can use multiple weapons to reduce defenses and you know stack them. Of course, if you have some weapons, you don't need other ones probably. But again, we'll go into that. Uh, we're going to talk about a few different infinite spec um, ways to go about it. Uh, and you'll understand that a little bit more once I get into how Weapon Master actually works. Um, and then I actually have some very exciting combos. Uh, I think one I read on Discord, one I thought of myself. Um, and so I'm very excited to share both of those with you. So don't forget to wait, to wait for those combos. All right, so Weapon Master talks about... Um, has two main lines that we were revealed. We don't know the details of how the cost for the special attacks works, but the number one important thing I wanna talk about here is 100% accuracy here does not mean 100% accuracy in your stats, it means a guaranteed hit. Um, and that's massive. We haven't had this level of power in the regular game. Uh, there's you know, very few things with any sort of guaranteed hit, if it exists at all. I, I can't think of anything on the top of my head. Um, but that means all of your specs will hit, which means when you're using you know, defense reduction items, such as the Bandos Gods or the Dragon Warhammer, the Bone Dagger or the Arc Light, you're gonna actually reduce the defenses guaranteed on every single hit. Uh, and that's additive for the Bandos God Sword. So this is going to be super duper powerful at reducing the defenses of your boss. And then if you can figure out a way to just kind of regen a bunch of HP, you're going to be able to infinitely spec. Now here... Uh, the reason I jumped to this slide early is if you look at the HP health meter of the player, it goes down by 25 hit points every spec. Now, Jagex hasn't revealed the details of the exact cost. Uh, the BGS costs 50%, so maybe it's half as much of your HP, and therefore the player gets in three additional specs. Again, so this is all speculation. Uh, we're waiting for them to reveal the official information, which might not come out until the actual league, um, but we can start speculating and th start thinking of some other ways to kind of circulate circumvent the cost here. So going into those infinite specs, right? If the spec cost HP, we need a way to regen our HP. This includes items such as the Blood Fury, the Ancient God Sword, the Ceridoman God Sword, the Blowpipe, and then Onyx Bolts with you know any sort of crossbow. Uh, specifically, I've highlighted the Zerai crossbow here because it guarantees a proc. Uh, and because your specs will have a 100% chance to hit, now you have a guaranteed hit with a guaranteed proc, which means guaranteed life suck, right? Uh, I wanna add to this is that the Zerai crossbow the blowpipes there was an update from mod arcane clarifying that that the specs uh, can also fire an additional projectile and if your hit guarantees to or hits a proc then that will apply to the following weapons uh, the following projectiles so that means if when you use a zero with the uh, spec if you do hit that 10 percent chance to fire an additional bolt you will actually life steal twice as much now i think that the life steals for all of these items are somewhere like you know 25 hp max for i think the ancient god sword and then it kind of varies for different other items like up to 25 percent of the damage dealt uh, the blowpipe won't be hitting very strong because darts just they're, they're all about speed and not damage so just kind of keep that in mind uh discord is doing a bunch of dps calculations and theory crafting so definitely check them out i'm sure someone will come out with a full infinite spec video we just don't have all the details and things calibrated yet also, it's going to kind of depend on your, you know, range strength or your melee strength, uh, depending on what regions you unlock and what gears you get. So let's let the calculations kind of, you know, work themselves out and then we'll know, right? Another thing I want to point out is Light Bearer isn't going to be as, like, it's not going to be more impactful with the addition of this relic. If you think about how Weapon Master worked previously, you just had 20% spec every time, and therefore Light Bearer would have been super duper powerful. Now it's still powerful because it's still going to recharge your spec meter, and if you're using one of these spec weapons that recharges your health, you're going to be able to sustain more and do more specs. So don't get me wrong, if you get a Light Bearer, it's still going to be good. Uh, it just won't be as, like, it won't be a more multiplier like we would have had if we had the relic from last time. And that's mainly because I think the Light Bear would just make it too powerful. Um, Jagex didn't have the Light Bear before when the last Trailblazer came out, and so it makes sense to kind of not have it this time. Um, but just wait for the DPS calcs to come out. I'm sure someone will give you all the best setups to have infinite sustain. Obviously, it depends on the damage rolls you hit, and then obviously how much life you gain back. Um, but that's, you know, still TBD, and we'll figure those details out later. 
Cool. Uh, the one thing I just want to point out, so these are the types of things that are happening on Discord. So Frosty here had a great detailed breakdown of how the Ancient God Sword is going to heal you, and you're pretty much going to be able to sustain infinite specs. If you want to just pause the screen here and just take a look at it, I'm not going to read through it, but I did find this great post um, by Frosty. So shout out to you. And it's just a way to like kind of define on the ticks that you're going to be able to hit. Now there's no, in these dead ticks, just remember that's the time you're going to need to move uh, in between, you know, certain effects and, and certain, you know, boss mechanics that you're going to have to avoid. So just keep that in mind on how you're going to set up your timing. This is going to, because the action speeds are so fast and we're pretty much getting down to two tick weapons, you're going to have to be really precise on your ticks, right? Uh, that way you get the most out of these infinite spec combos, right? Cool. Uh, now let's get into some of those combos. So the spec and E combo. So we were revealed Bankna a while back, and this allows you to pretty much bring infinite amount of food. Uh, and since, you know, the spec counter costs HP, you can pretty much just bring, you know, tens of thousands of noted sharks and keep eating and then keep specking. And if you have the BGS, you know, you'll keep doing damage reduction. I think it teeters off at a point, so you're only going to have so much value. So maybe you bring the BGS, do a bunch of BGS specs, and then you switch it up to another weapon. But pretty much you're going to be able to sustain an infinite spec as long as you keep eating. So one thing you can do is you can bring a bunch of food, dump your five BGS specs, then while you're dodging the mechanics of the boss, you can eat a bunch of food and, you know, unknown and keep eating. And then once you're ready again, at full health, stand in a spot, slap a bunch of, you know, specs down, and then just keep rinsing and repeating. And you should be able to just effectively have infinite specs um, to kill any boss or anything you're doing. All right, the next one is going to be uh, very exciting. I'm very pumped about this one. So this, in my mind, all I thought about was Mortal Kombat, finish him. So... The way this, uh, the ZGS, uh, the, the ZCB works is it, you know, it's going to guarantee proc your bolts. Ruby, proc, Ruby bolt procs do damage to you. Uh, so that means when you're specking with the Zerai crossbow, you're actually going to take damage. And then if you use the additional specs, I'm going to guess at maximum you're going to fire three procs before you have enough HP to even fire a fourth one. Like you're going to not have enough HP to fire the fourth proc based on how much damage you're going to take from the Ruby bolt proc as well as the cost of the additional specs, right? The ZCB costs 75% special attack. So I'm guessing you're going to hit it about three. Now, we have confirmed, and I didn't mention this in the last slide, but I'll mention it now, is this relic, the special attack relic, none of the other relics of this tier have been unlocked. That means you're going to be able to pick Banknote or Undying Retribution, and you're going to be able to combo these relics. So this is what I meant by don't lock in your relic choices just yet. You have to wait for more relic reveals to happen, and this is a great combo. So pretty much what's going to happen is, you're going to fire a Zerai crossbow. You're going to use your Ruby Bolt specs, you know, hit, you know, hundreds on those big bosses back to back to back, for example, like Forkath. And then you're going to use Undying Retribution to heal back up to full when you get killed. And then you're going to have more HP to then keep doing more specs. Or just to like, that would be the time where you stop specking and then you switch over to doing like, you know, something that's a little bit safer and then you don't have to worry about things. Um, again, this is a great combo depending on how much damage, you know, the Undying Retribution does. Um, you're going to be able to have like crazy ways to kill certain bosses, I think, really, really fast within a couple of seconds. Just by just spamming these uh, special attacks and it's going to be good to go. Cool. I think that's all I got for today. Thank you so much. Really exciting relic. I'm really excited to see what Jagex has in store. Uh, one quick teaser is that they mentioned that the next two updates that they're going to reveal over the next two days are at a power level of absurd beyond last recall. And they're going to break whatever metas and strategies we're thinking. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm really excited to do a video for tomorrow's reveal and the next day. Um, but again, if you like this video and you found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along for daily updates, subscribe. And if you have any feedback or any other combos or ideas, leave them below. I definitely want to read and collect more information. Um, and then again, if you want to watch me live stream for the league launch for the first two days at least, uh, definitely drop a follow on Twitch. Thanks everyone.